This beautiful, classic American yacht is a 1969, 63-foot Trumpy houseboat. Now, Trumpy motor yachts were built in the United States from the late 30s up until the early 70s. These were enjoyed by dignitaries, by celebrities of the time, and even U.S. presidents. The official U.S. presidential yacht, which was first commissioned in the 30s and was decommissioned in the 70s, was actually a Trumpy yacht, very similar to this one, although it was a little bit larger. This yacht is listed for sale by Bayport Yachts of Chester, Maryland, and they've granted us access to do a full tour of this beautiful, classic American yacht today. The yacht has a wooden hull and it's had around 1.2 million in refit work done over the past 10 years or so. You've had overhauls on both the engines, a lot of electrical work done and structural work. Another great feature on this yacht is it actually comes with the original furniture, which is highly sought after when you're looking for a yacht in this classic space. So let's go ahead and get started with this tour. You'll see all the way up on the bow, you have this beautiful detail work. And like I said, a classic yacht like this, it honestly just has a beautiful profile. Let's step aboard. So when we step on board, let's slip our shoes off. But back on this aft deck, we have this lovely place to hang out. This is that original furniture I was talking about. You're not going to be able to replicate or find this anywhere. And it's pretty rare to see all of the original furniture when you find a classic yacht like this. Trumpies normally have, as this one does, these roll up windows in this section. So it's a clear plastic that closes off this space. Although you can see back here, we do have this one rolled up. So you can get a great breeze in this area. And then as you can see, you have the table in the middle and you can set up this area for relaxation. You can set it up for dining, basically however you want. And if we turn around, you'll see that there is a TV mounted up on the wall. Obviously that was added after the fact. And then over here, we have an ice maker and you have a sink. Then you have full side decks that wrap around either side. And you can see there is a hinge here. So, excuse me, the hinge is on this side. So this rail can be raised up and you can board from this side. So you have a lot of flexibility of getting on board. You have this screen door. So if you want to, you can have this as an open air space. And then here is the deck on the other side where we came aboard. But now I think we're gonna step inside. So here you can see this beautiful main salon. You have really large windows flanking either side. And one cool feature is you can actually open up a couple of these windows. Over here, you'll see this crank. So if you wind this up, this window will drop down into the sidewall. So you can create a really good cross breeze because you can open up this window as well as this window on the far side of the room. You can see the space to crank that open right there. Here's a pretty good profile shot of the yacht actually in oil painting form. There might be a glare, so I'm sorry about that. And then the woodwork in this main salon is a hand rubbed walnut. And then in the pilot house, which we'll see in a moment, you have mahogany. You can see all of the storage built in here. And there is a TV up on this wall. So 
So you'll see the staircase right here on the port side. This will lead down to the guest cabins, so we'll head there in a little bit. But I think we're gonna continue forward into the pilot house first. And one more fun fact about this yacht that I didn't mention in the intro, this yacht is actually gonna be featured in an upcoming blockbuster film called The Menu. It's starring Anya Taylor-Joy, and I believe the movie is released in November of this year. It's 2022. So if you happen to catch that movie, and you see them cruising around on a beautiful old school yacht, this is the yacht that they were on. So now we're gonna move up to the pilot house and all of the electronics in here have been updated. You have side access doors on both sides of the pilot house. So you get a fantastic cross breeze in this space. You have the large steering wheel in the middle. And then, like I said, these have been updated. So you have Garmin multifunction displays. And then you have your other Garmin systems up here, like your autopilot control, depth finder, your VHF radios on the far side. Then you also have this bench seating area right back here. And here, this stitching actually matches that ornate detailing we saw up on the bow. So that's pretty cool that that matches. And I believe we can see the plaque right here. And it says, designed and built by John Trumpy and Sons, Inc. in Annapolis, Maryland. These yachts have very storied histories So if you're the type of person that appreciates a classic, this one might be the one you're looking for. You'll see there's a staircase forward, and this actually leads to the crew area, and we're gonna head down there after we see the guest cabins, and it's all connected underneath. While we're up here in the pilot house, let's head up to the bow. I like how they have the mirrors built in, so you can see behind you when you're in the pilot house. And you have a really large bow space up here. You have two anchors. And then there is a bench seating area. So you can sit out here and enjoy the sun. Or if you wanted to, you could also throw down some sun pads and lie out in the sun. And this is a hatch to the crew area. So there is some ventilation and a skylight. And you'll see up on the roof, you have your satellite, GPS, radar, all of those systems are up here. And even further back, let's see if I can hold the camera up, but you have the lifeboat or tender that's actually stored up on the roof. And you can access the roof. We're not gonna go up there today, but you can access the roof through this little ladder and hatch. You also have the bell mounted right here. So let's head back into the main salon. Another thing I like in here is they have these curtains. So it's very easy to close up this space or have it open with that really great view. And for the price that this yacht is listed at, you could even consider this boat for a liveaboard option. So if we head down this staircase, we will get to the two guest cabins. And keep in mind that this is a 1969. So you're gonna have some classic features down here. It's gonna be obviously very different from a modern yacht. But if we step all the way back, you will find the master cabin. And all of the beds in here are single berths. So you have two large single beds on both sides of this master cabin. You have this original dresser right in the middle. So you have tons of great storage space in here. 
You have the storage on the sides. Good size windows and shutters. And then on the other side of the room, there's a little TV mounted. And then you have this really nice closet. You have another dresser built in right here and another closet. So you have, obviously you have tons of storage in this master cabin. And then although this is a classic yacht, you're still gonna be riding around in style. Your master cabin does have an ensuite. You can see the sink right here. And the walk-in shower. So now if we head back this hallway, we will find the guest cabin. And it's similar to the master, albeit a lot smaller. You have the built-in dresser in the middle and two single beds. And like I mentioned in the master, these windows have the blinds, but they also have the built-in shutters that can slide across. And you have a closet right here. So those are the two guest cabins. Here you can see the day head and it's also the head for the guest cabin. So it's very similar to the master with a walk-in shower. And then through this door, which I like that they have a door here if you want to partition this off. But this is where you'll find a little dining area and the galley. So here is your dining table. And like you'll see throughout this yacht, you have all of the built-in storage everywhere you look. You have a microwave and all your glassware. More closets and a pantry on this side. And then here is the galley. You have your full-size fridge and freezer right here. You have your sink, and then you have your stovetop and oven. And I thought this painting was pretty cool. Here you can see some of the legacy and some other Trumpy models. Trumpy has a fantastic legacy in the U.S. And now this is pretty unique, and you're not going to see this on a modern yacht. Through this door is actually the engine room. So instead of the engines being all the way back like you normally see, the engines are actually pretty forward, and then you have the crew area in front of that. So we're going to head into the engine room next. And as you'll see, although this is a 1969 yacht, this is a very clean engine room. It's actually shocking how clean and well kept this engine room is. And this yacht comes with a pair of Detroit diesel 6-71N engines. Now these are 220 horsepower each. 
There are around 2,500 hours on these engines, but they have had a complete overhaul as part of the refit effort. Your top speed is around 11 knots. You can cruise at eight knots and you'll have about 450 nautical miles of range, depending on that cruising speed. So like we saw up in the pilot house, you have all brand new electronics. These engines have had a lot of work on them and they still have tons of life left. And also a lot of the planks in the hull have been replaced when needed as part of the structural work. And now forward through this door is where we find the crew area. This is actually a really large room. You can see they have a little bench seating area, two bunks, and you could absolutely use this room as a third cabin if you wanted to, if you were running without a crew, which you certainly could do so. You have closet space over here, and they do have an ensuite with the little sink. And as a little shower all the way forward. Then above us, you may have noticed there's a lot of natural light pouring in and that's from that hatch that's up on the bow. And you can also see there are these steps right here. So if you wanted to get out of this area through the hatch, you certainly could do so. And then continuing the theme, you have all of these original built-ins You have a TV up here, and then all of the records from this ship over time. And you'll see this really steep staircase up to the pilot house, which you saw earlier. Let's get one last look before we head back. And we'll just give you another look at the entire lower deck. This yacht might be a classic, but the AC works extremely well in this area. It's always nice to see when a classic yacht like this has been well taken care of, and it's easy to see how there's plenty of life left on this vessel. And I'll give you one last look at the master before heading up. Let's head back out onto the app deck. All right, guys, you're gonna have to let me know what you think of this one. In my opinion, this is an extremely special yacht. I think the next owner is gonna be incredibly happy. And if you appreciate a classic, if you appreciate some of the finer things in life, then this Trumpy might be the one for you. Thank you so much for watching the tour, and thank you to Eric at Bayport Yachts for granting me access to do this tour. I'm gonna link this listing down in the description, so if you wanna see it in greater detail, you can do so. If you stayed this long, you're also gonna catch this, which I didn't open earlier. This is just another closet, and you can see you have your AV equipment up here.
So once again, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.